uh, good morning students welcome to the class of visual art and today's lecture is or today's topic is creativity and the visual art we all are aware with the word creativity that is to create something new but before before starting our today's lecture let us have a review of the previous one in the previous lecture we talked about elements of visual art elements quite uh, easy but yes we should revise so we can understand how the creativity is connected with that like uh, in the previous lecture we studied uh, line shapes color color combination texture form etc these all are known as the elements of visual art because uh, everything whatever you draw that is the art so all these elements are required to say that i have painted something like if you have drawn certain lines crossing one to another definitely they will make a shape and a name will be given to that and if you uh, connect all the shapes you will have another design if you fill the different colors you will have its different effect as well so uh, there is a relation among all the different elements of visual art even simple a line itself is a part of art because lines are of the different types straight zigzag line uh, slipping one in the form of uh, if we are joining two lines in the form of rectangular it will become re rectangular it will give the shape of rectangle if you are um, uh, if you are just uh, connecting certain line at a certain point again you will have a shape same if i talk about color we have different types of color and they are divided in our uh, different sections as well like primary tint secondary triad as well primary colors we studied known as hue bright pure and when uh, any other color is mixed with the with the pure one we get different one so we learned a wonderful thing like if we are uh, not having any specific color we can create with the combination of two different color for example we say white color in the white also we have off white if we mix something in white we'll get the lighter shade as well as the another one so we learned the different types of colors as well we we came to know about the texture as well texture that is smoothness and roughness that can also be uh, experienced either by touching or by seeing so all that we studied in the previous one let us have a today's uh, discussion but before our uh, talking to the creativity again we should know what the visual art and how it is classified visual art as uh, we know that is a use of certain sign sign same elements of art when they are connected when they are attached they give us a shape which can be seen which can be experienced which can be shared so it becomes visual art if i talk about its classification it has been given different names we call it as a painting we call it sculpture drawing print making stained glass photography etc and uh, later or sooner either we have experienced or we will experience we all have uh, gone through with the different types of picture painting and so on so that is the visual art so what we will learn now the question comes in our mind 
what we will learn from the current lecture as we are concerned with the creativity definitely will understand what exactly the creativity is creativity is not just to watch something and to draw watching something and drawing the same is known as copying something creativity is something different the idea is in your mind and you are giving it a new shape that is creativity and as we are talking about creativity definitely our perception towards the image will also get change and as we see we either praise something or we find out some some mistakes in that so changes in that if something is lacking in picture and keeping all those things in your mind you are creating something that is your that may be known as creativity while well, that is basically modification while creativity something new as we are talking about uh, this creativity definitely our intelligence is also required so we will talk about the multiple intelligence theory that will be used in our creativity and as we are talking about uh, we learn about multiple intelligence theory definitely our point of view towards examining the images will also change okay now let us know what the creativity is we all know creativity comes from our mind from our thought process so uh, the definition has been given the creative process is defined as a succession of thoughts and action leading to original and appropriate production now got my point as i told you something we have in mind which is in different form that may be in the form of nature that may be in the form of language maths body language visual or spatial that we can see in the form of music that may be in the form of our interpersonal relation as well and the intrapersonal relation as well like uh, you can easily understand the uh, it with the help of intra and inter before presenting yourself in front of other you think of self how i should be what changes are required for the specific task and okay uh, you can uh, understand with your dressing sense also sometimes you get bored with your old dresses you make certain changes sometimes you color that sometimes you uh, pick certain stickers and all so you create something new and then you use it okay now we, you can uh, talk about music also you used to listen different singers but when you sing the music notes are totally different there may be some up and down in your voice there may be some uh, break in your voice you not not be able to go to that high note you may get tired and you change according to your voice sometimes you make uh, that that song as in the form of a poem in the form of prose as well so that is again creativity and when we talk about the present study that is the visual art so in the present study situated in visual art field we will consider the artistic creativity artistic which is related to the same painting drawing sculpture and many more things music itself is an art here uh, we are talking about the things which can be the part of 
uh, anything which can be seen, which can be touched. So here we are talking about artistic creative process as an individual phenomena. As I told you, music, singer is singing some in the different note and you are making your own different note. On the YouTube, you can see people mix certain songs and present. People use different types of instrument and then present. And it becomes individual work. So when you are making certain changes, and presenting it in a different form that is creative. Okay, uh, as we are talking about uh, the intelligence also, so uh, we will talk, we will have a discussion about the visual or the spatial intelligence. Uh, sp if I define that, that is the capacity to perceive the visual world accurately visual world that can be seen like i am able to see table chair nature everyone so whether i am able to perceive the thing as they are or not and after that what i have to do or i used to do perform transformation and modification on perception as i told you i watched no doubt i'm getting idea whatever i am having in front of my eyes but i'm not presenting in the same form i am making certain changes only then i can say it's mine otherwise it will be cut copy paste so when the creativity is again connected with the visual intelligence. I can understand the things as they are or not. And on the basis of that uh, understanding, I am making changes. That construct is mental representation of visual information. Construct mental representation means what I thought to make changes and the use of representation to perform activity is often considered visual spatial intelligence okay now you understand I bought certain thing as it is I thought what changes can be made, what new shape can be given. I made certain changes. I gave a new shape and then it is represented. Like, okay, we can take another example. You all have experienced different type of fan. Okay, earlier there used to be hand fan made of uh, either sticks or cloth. Now we have same uh, hand fan but in the form of plastic. So I, somebody saw, somebody made changes. Its shape has been changed, its quality has been changed, its Texture has been changed. After that, we got table fan. After a certain duration, somebody under, uh, thought that table fan is giving air in one direction. So again, its shape was changed. Its certain modification we have made and it was uh, changed in the form of ceiling fan. Okay, ceiling fan gives hot air, turned in the form of cooler. In the cooler, again, there has been the adjustment of exhaust. So, the inside air can be kept out and fresh air can be in. 
as the people uh, we are using cooler a window is required and nowadays we know in our flats windows are not given or there is no provision of window we have sliding door so what to do now ac came in existence ac also in the form of window and split where there is no window we used to go for the split ac so again the changes are there we watched we visualized certain things as it is and after that we made certain changes and one wonderful thing is that every one of us has the ability to express oneself visually but again there is a difference and that difference is on the basis of your ability okay you can again understand it uh, with the with the example uh one teacher teaches you all but you people are not able to score same marks reason is quite obvious one understood clearly some was little bit confused some was more confused some not interested so didn't pay attention on the basis of their understanding level they presented and there has been the variety in their score as well so same here everyone has ability to express themselves with oneself visually but with the variation and uh, okay there has been a definition as well uh, howard gardner says that all people have some uh, visual spatial intelligence so different so that is it is said by howard gardner and we all experience the same now let us talk about mit uh that is multiple intelligence theory uh, according to howard gardner human possess eight intelligence theory and it is in everyone we cannot say that i am not having or some are not having like uh we all are able to speak so that is linguistic the people are logical one means we all have logic on the basis of that we say yes it is acceptable and it, it is not uh for understanding we are using the term mathematical means there is no chance of supposition logic should be there fact should be there then we have visual spatial means we can visualize the world and then we are rep representing but that visualization should be accurate no confusion is is needed there or no confusion can be then we have kinesthetic related to body language again you can understand with expressions some have wonderful expression some are not at not good at expression next we have musical every one is music lover if you say uh, i can't sing dear every one sings as well okay it's a different thing someone is wonderful singer someone is bathroom singer someone is like uh, the the romantic songs are also sung in the form of uh, in the form of that virus some singers are like that they are not able to make difference between shringaras and virus but everyone sings then naturalist everyone is living in the world and everyone is in the connection of nature so that is also in everyone To either to appreciate, to draw, to to make changes. Then we have interpersonal. Everyone is very much careful about one's oneself. How 
how we should be what type of changes are needed and next we have intrapersonal how to represent ourselves in front of other how our relation should be with other now let us have a, a detailed discussion about the same okay let us have uh, the artistic one as it is said there is no artistic intelligence here there is in the form of visual art this visual art use visual or spatial kinesthetic and interpersonal intelligence these three that is spatial looking the world as it is or accurately then making changes or tran making transformation next we are like kinesthetic means our body language then intrapersonal with other so that is the part of visual art these three uh, mi means a multiple intelligence theory are the part of visual art so we should know how to control or manage our emotions only then you will be able to present yourself in this world now let us know children and artistic development as earlier i told you as we we visualize the world saying we represent at the different ages they understand and according to their age according to their understanding level they represent it and we have a certain mental level as well so there are certain variety also okay these are the ages okay uh, i think i missed something no yes these are the certain ages and we all have enjoyed we all have done when uh, we were at the age of 2 even in your home you can see your your uh, niece maybe your nephew maybe or you can have this example at the age of 2 young ones are in the scribbling stage they are not aware about the world as it is how to uh, world here in the sense how to draw certain things so you you can have the experience of this first picture of this scribbling stage at the walls of the home whatever the young ones get in their hand and they start drawing certain lines without thinking what is they what is going on or what they are draw, uh, drawing next we have pre schematic or the symbol this is the age group of 3 to 4 year old when the young ones know what is circle what is rectangular what is square and they prepare like that next is the schematic landscape here are uh, the young ones understand about the world they know what is the tree what is the river what is the hut and they draw means as they watch they try to draw that next stage is of the gang stage we can call it as the complexity or the realism here the children are very much concerned what they are drawing and how things really look they are at the age of 10 at that time so we can say a 10 year old child can draw little bit real picture no doubt there will be no proper one but yes you can understand what the child has drawn even child self knows what he or she is drawing next we have pseudo that is naturalistic or the crisis period at this age 
child wants to create something as the adult used to create. Means they use different types of colors to make difference how the world is. As the adult used to make things. Okay. Uh, so today we talked about creativity. Creativity is things for to sort the world as it is, then to make changes. They or we can say some modification or the transformation is done and then it is represented. We studied different types of multiple or I should say multiple intelligence theory. Out of eight, visual art use three theory. One is of the spatial intelligence, another one is of the kinesthetic, and the third one is of intraproxy. And we talked about the different stages, artistic development as well. I should say the, the stages of artistic development in the child. We all have gone through. So on the basis of the same, you have to answer these three questions. You have to define creativity. Creativity means to create something. How you understand, how to, to make other understand, you have to define it here. You have to answer, you have to explain what the visual spatial intelligence is. The third question is multiple intelligence theory. And you have to explain any two. I'm not saying all eight, but any two. For further studies, you can go for this uh, article as well. This article will help you a lot to understand the things in depth. Thank you. We will meet in the next lecture with some more information.